How do we derive the section formula? Let us see how we help the gardener to solve his problem using the section formula. Your school gardener wants to plant saplings between the poles of the school fence. However, he has been instructed that the saplings must be spaced between two successive poles in the ratio 2 is to 3. Your gardener is confused as he cannot figure out the exact location between the poles. Can you help the gardener? Let us use the coordinate system to solve the gardener's problem. Let points A and B represent two successive poles of the fence. Let's take the coordinates of A as x1, y1 and coordinates of B as x2, y2 respectively. Assume point P to be the point at which the sapling needs to be planted. Let M1 and M2 represent the ratio between the sapling and the ends of the poles. As the coordinates of point P are not known, let's take its coordinates as X and Y. We begin by drawing lines parallel to the Y axis from points A, P and B, meeting the X axis at points R, S and T respectively. Then we draw lines parallel to the X axis from points A and P such that they intersect the segment PS and the segment BT at the points Q and C respectively. In triangle PAQ and triangle BPC, angle PAQ is equal to angle BPC as they are corresponding angles lying between parallel lines. Angle PQA and angle BCP are right angles. Thus, triangles PAQ and BPC are similar by the AA test of similarity. Sides of similar triangles are proportional. Therefore, the ratio of their sides is equal. Let us denote this ratio as equation 1. Observe that AQ is equal to RS and RS is equal to OS minus OR. Therefore, AQ is equal to X minus X1. Similarly, PC is equal to ST and ST is equal to OT minus OS. Therefore, PC is equal to X2 minus X. PQ is equal to PS minus QS. But QS is equal to AR. So PQ is equal to PS minus AR or Y minus Y1. BC is equal to BT minus CT. But PS is equal to CT. So BC is equal to BT minus PS or Y2 minus Y. Let us substitute these values in equation 1. Let's solve the first two parts of the equation to obtain the value of x. Now, let us solve the first and third parts of the equation to obtain the value of y. You can now substitute the values of m1, m2, x1, x2, y1 and y2 to obtain the values of x and y. This formula is known as the section formula. Now that you have obtained the coordinates of the point P, you can easily determine its distance from either ends of the poles by using the distance formula. You can thus help the gardener determine the exact locations at which the saplings need to be planted. Now that we have learned the derivation of section formula, let's apply it to solve a problem. The question is, if P 9A minus 2 comma minus B divides the line segment joining A 3A plus 1 comma minus 3 and B 
8.5 in the ratio 3 is to 1, find the values of A and B. To solve this problem, let's first draw three points A, B and P. Let's consider this is point A having coordinates 3A plus 1 comma minus 3. Let's consider this as point B. B has the coordinates 8A comma 5. Now let's consider this is point P having coordinates 9A minus 2 comma minus B. Look, the ratio is given as 3 is to 1. That is point P divides segment AB in the ratio 3 is to 1. So this is the given data and we have to find the values of A and B which are the unknowns. Now let's use the section formula. So we have the x coordinate of point P is equal to that is 9A minus 2 is equal to this 1 multiplied by the x coordinate of point A and 3 multiplied by the x coordinate of point B. This 1 multiplied by the x coordinate of point A that is 1 multiplied by 3A plus 1 plus this 3 multiplied by the x coordinate of point B that is 3 into 8A the whole divided by 3 plus 1. Let's simplify this ahead. So we get 9A minus 2 is equal to 3A plus 1 plus 24A the whole divided by 4 that is 9A minus 2 is equal to 3A plus 24A which is 27A plus 1 divided by 4 therefore we get 4 into 9 36A minus 2 into 4 is 8 is equal to 27A plus 1 therefore we get 36A minus 27a is equal to 1 plus 8 therefore we get 36 minus 27 is 9a here is equal to 9 therefore a is equal to 9 upon 9 which is 1 so value of a is 1 that is we'll write a is equal to 1 now let's use the y coordinate of point p that is we get minus b is equal to 1 multiplied by the y coordinate of point a which is minus 3 that is 1 multiplied by minus 3 plus this 3 multiplied by the y coordinate of point b which is 5 so that is 3 multiplied by 5 the whole divided by 1 plus 3 further we get minus b is equal to minus 3 plus 15 upon 4 therefore we get minus b into 4 is minus 4b is equal to minus 3 plus 15 is 12 therefore we get b is equal to 12 divided by minus 4 therefore b is equal to minus 3 so here we got the values of a and b as a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 3 here is what we have learnt